All right, so let's get an update on the fry here. This is my third video on my fry. Quick preview, we've got my 29 gallon tank there on the left side. The same tank on the upper right there, zoomed in on the lower right portion. And then on the lower right, we see my 90 gallon recently aquascaped. And there's a lot of my fry, or I suppose we should start calling them juveniles because these guys have been growing up for a few months now. So they're starting to put on a little bit of size and show some color. Big upgrade for these guys here in this 29 gallon tank. Much better home than the 10 gallon ones that they were in recently. Here's a look at the whole fish room. We got the 135 on the right, mostly adult males. That tank is doing really well. Everyone's getting along and no problems there. We got the 90 gallon, which I've recently aquascaped. I got a video on that. And here is the 29 gallon, which I've recently put together. And there's a video actually on my channel recently where I, where I put this one together. It turned out pretty well. Same type of tank, just haven't put substrate in yet. Blue background though matches the other two. So we're gonna look closer at some of the fish and I'm gonna show you who the mothers and fathers are. Looking close here on the left side. You might wanna take a look at my fry update one and two as well if you haven't already done so, or those could be like a prequel <laughs> or you could go back, you know? And then I have one on breeding where one of my favorite females exhibits some jealousy interrupting breeding with uh, with the male that she was paired up with. So I want to take a look at that one as well. So we're looking at these guys here in the 29 gallon. These are from three different mothers. I'm going to show you that in a bit. Now let's shift over to the 90 gallon. Aquascaping is turning out really nice. And same thing, there are fry or juveniles now from three different mothers. There is one of the mothers, she's held three times successfully. So a lot of the, the whitish juveniles that you see are hers. That is one of my favorites right there. That's Diamond Sun. And here is, here is Snake Eyes, one of my females. Some of the darker charcoal ones are hers. This is Jubilee. Her juveniles look exactly like her. There right there is one of the ones that Snake Eyes is the mother. I'm sorry, uh, Storm Shadow is the mother. You can see they're orange blotched. And Diamond is the father for those. I'll show you who he is in a minute. This is Diamond's son right there, one of my favorite. I identified him early when he was really small. I could tell he was gonna be a beautiful male. He stood out from the beginning. There is Diamond the father of that of that fish you just saw. And he was from the very first batch that I had. And that is another shot of him right here. And I'm gonna show you the mother again. The mother is Crystal. And it totally makes sense that the, the male that you just saw, the dominant male and Crystal would have a, have a fish, have an offspring that looked just like this. We're gonna look at Crystal in just a second. There is Crystal. She's really been skinny ever since she had her fry. She doesn't seem to want to get, want to hold eggs again. Maybe that's why she doesn't eat as much. Now we're looking at some of the, most of these lighter ones with, with traces of yellow and black spots. They are Storm Shadow's offspring. Now we're looking at the 29 gallon again. I really like the light that I got for that one as well. It's the same one, light that I have in my 65 gallon in the, in the living room. Here's one of the ones that I'm identifying early in the 29 gallon that I think this is gonna be a really beautiful fish. They don't really don't color up until they get larger, but I can tell that's gonna be a beautiful one. And the mother is actually right there. That's not Jubilee. That's another one that I haven't named, but you can see where the resemblance comes from. And Diamond is the father, which is why you see traces of blue and there's some other sparkles and things going on there, which is, probably what makes that fish beautiful. Here's another one right here that I'm not sure if it's Storm Shadows or Snake Eyes is. If it's Snake Eyes is, then the father would have to be Diamond because that would explain the, the colors here. Or it might be Snake Eyes, the charcoal adult female, with my electric blue. 
I have an electric blue that danced around her a few times, but I'm not sure if they were successful when 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 they were trying to when he was courting her. And those are those ones that are white with the orange spots. Those belong to Jubilee. It's a very common look, though. Not really something sought after in the hobby. As you can see, some of these other ones, though, where I have diamond mixing with other fish. When you have an OB involved, you really can get some beautiful, beautiful color combinations. That is Snake Eyes' daughter. I'm assuming that's a, that's a female. And here is the male electric blue that I told you. He doesn't show his color. You can see there's another electric blue below him that shows his color much more. This one doesn't show his color as much, but it may be him who who paired with snake eyes. And that's one of Storm Shadows right there with the with the black spot in the center, getting another look at Storm Shadow. One of the nicest females African cichlids probably you'll ever see. Most people don't like buying females, but when they look like Storm Shadow, you know, it's a it's an amazing addition to any tank. Looking at some charcoal ones here again. So I do have a pretty good idea of who the parents are for mostly all of them. I'm guessing with with the few, and then some of them kind of just you lose track and they and they start to look a little different over time. But as I said earlier, though, you can identify the really beautiful ones. It's really quite remarkable that something stands out when they're that small, and then. And then it, you know, kind of manifests later when they get older. So I'm still new to breeding. I'm really in my first year of doing it. But it is interesting that you put the two that you think are beautiful together and the results can be, can be really remarkable. So maybe I'm going to be able to do some selective breeding and, and come up with some really, really cool looking hybrids. So we're looking at the 29 gallon a bit more. I've promised some technical videos on filters and things like that and setting up tanks. I'm going to get those out as soon as possible. I'll have a few weeks off with with Christmas and whatnot. So I'm going to have a lot more videos to put up. Getting a look at some of these some of these guys. I keep some, sell some to people, and then I, I trade some into a tropical fish store, get some credit, use it to buy food. So like and subscribe. I've got lots more updates just like this one. All my videos are in 4K and try to give you guys some insights too with my comments. And then if you ever want to see more of something or have anything, any comments regarding a video, you can either PM me or, or write a comment below and we can, we can discuss. So thanks as always for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.